Everyone lived in terror of Kid Tannen and his goons. But Dad stood up to him. He had evidence of Kid's guilt, see, and he risked his life to deliver it to the authorities. Never be afraid to do the right thing. That's what he always used to tell me. And what are you doing? Trying to remember which is the right feed. Feed to what? To the surveillance camera, the one in the yard. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have a surveillance camera trained on yourself? Of course. Gotta cover all bases. Now help me figure Don't out which monitor it. I'm Don't question it. It's saving on. your life right now. Wait, what did he say? Go find George's secret tape? Is it in the snack box? Nope. Alright, hold on. I don't want to annoy whoever's on the other end of that thing. I really should have kept my mouth shut and paid paid attention to what was going on. Um, no, we do not want to get out of here. We want to stay in the garage because that's probably where the secret tape is hidden. Either that or it's inside the house. Hmm. Nope. Nope. Game grid. Sweet. Ah, the movie was better, though. Do we keep- do we just keep switching through all of these? Nope, so it's not that one. No. There we go! Found it! Hello? George McFly, say hello to Let me um, get this straight. You captured this whole attack on tape? Of course! Surveillance is what I do! Why didn't you say so in the first place? Come on, son. Stop dawdling and help me track down that feed. Try flipping the switches. I did. Look, it's right there. There, that looks like us. So the surveillance tape must be on this VCR. This must be before the attack. Let's see. I remember cleaning the playback heads at 5.30. The attack couldn't have been very long after. I'm, I'm, yep, I knew it. But it can't be him. The Citizens Plus program has rendered him as gentle as a kitten. Huh? huh? Wow, that was a very light touch. George, I'm almost disappointed in you. It's not the way he's supposed to behave. Why, even the old Biff would wait, never. Wait, what's that weird flashing on his wrist? Oh, Let's find he's out. mind control. I knew this zoom and enhanced feature would come in handy someday. Cost me a bundle at the hobby shop. It's his digital watch. I wonder why it's doing that. Because hey, it's wait, mind stop controlling him. Can you zoom in anymore? X11. You know what that means? Not yet. Lorraine! Don't lay into me, George. I've got something very important to say, and then I'm going to be leaving again. I've got something important to say, too. I was attacked it's and robbed. It's always about you, isn't it? You can't just wait and listen to my news. Oh, no. You have to go and beat Marty, me to the don't walk off. That's right. You two sort things out. I've got some business to attend to. I know it's an alternate timeline, but these are your parents. Surely you care about them, right? I have a really bad feeling that somehow we're going to trigger a kill switch and he's going to try and murder Man. us. Whoa, mm. settle down there, fella. You beat up my dad. Do we have a problem here, citizens? No, no, officer. Just a little misunderstanding. I'm sure we can work it out. Right, Martin? Sure. Okay. Let me know if you need any help, Mr. Tannen. Really? Now let's see if help? we can get to the bottom of this. Yeah, let's. Why'd you beat up my dad? Where's my dad's secret tape? Mm, let's go with this one. That way we can actually, you know, get him a little bit more insecure, then we can lull the truth Why'd out of him. Why'd you hurt my dad, Biff? He never did anything to you in this timeline. Timeline? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. I saw you on camera. But I can't hurt anybody. Thanks to Citizen Plus, I blow chunks whenever I even think about doing bad stuff. Huh. High fives? I don't feel as good about that one for See? some weird reason. Uh, where 
were you when my dad was attacked? If you didn't beat up my dad, then where have you been for the last couple of hours? Well, I was... I was... What? That's strange. I, I don't remember. What's the last thing you remember before your memory loss? Well, I was handing out flyers for the Citizen Plus program, just like I'd been doing all day. I'd just finished giving some leftover bologna to a cute little squirrel when Miss Edna came by. Edna? Yeah. She wanted to run a, a, a diagnostic on my Citizen Plus watch. I must have fallen asleep or something, because when she was done, it was an hour later. And then your mom came by. What? You What, did you just fall asleep? In, on, on, on the streets? Let me see your watch. Biff, your watch. Does X-11 mean anything to you? X-11? Is that a new band or something? I don't go in for that new hippity-hoppity stuff. It's not a band, Biff. It's a mode on your Citizen Plus watch. Weird. I've never seen it look like that. Heck, I can barely get this thing to stop blinking. See? Ooh. Alright. Cool. Mode? A... Hey, I didn't know you could do that. Oh, okay. Sweet. Wait, why am I going the long way around? X11. Okay. Before we do this, Marty, get your running shoes on. Because I have a really bad feeling we're going to need to run the hell away. Either that, or we can tell him to do whatever we want him to do. There we go. Exit. I've got a few more questions, Biff. All right, Martin. Wait, what? Let me see Biff, your watch. Your watch. Seven. Is there anything else we can... No, no. I've hey. got a few more questions, Biff. Don't you do All that right, to me Martin. again. Let me see your Biff, watch. Your watch. Um, mode. Biff? Uh, uh. Okay, that's weird. Did you attack my dad? Did you attack my dad? <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Oh, you know what? As much as I love making Biff puke, this is much better. Where's my dad's tape? In the courthouse. Or Is in the cycling bin. bin. I feel like telling him he's gonna take that very literally. Hold on, I need to mess with him a bit more. It's Biff. You, uh, what do you expect me to do? Uh, I'm very impressed. Hmm. Do the chicken dance. Yeah, he's hypnotized, <laughs> that, all right. That's not the chicken dance. All right, and now let's go get. Yeah, tell him to get the tape because he'll probably punch. He will probably punch Parker in the Would face. You do me a favor and go get my dad's tape. Uh. Hey, Mr. Tin, what's up? Uh, 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 is that McFly kid bothering you? Uh, hey, you can't go in there. Uh, uh, hey. Well, it's not a punch in the face, but it'll do. I guess it is Jennifer's dad, and we should be nice to him, I suppose. Uh, He's been a bit of a butthead to holy us, Holy smokes. W what happened to him? I don't know. No one's ever jumped into the decycling bin before. Well, where does it go? That information is above my pay grade. Oh, jeez. I'm in a lot of trouble now. <laughs> don't move a muscle, McFly. I gotta go tell Citizen Brown about this. Oh, hell no. I'm jumping in after him. Do it. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Well, You'll be fine. I've got a nothing. great feeling about this. Oh, Gosh, that man. sounded like broken Did ankles. I do something wrong? Did I do something? Mr. Tannen, I put a lot of work into honing you as the first Citizen Plus. What on earth possessed you to assault a police officer and dive headfirst into the decycling bin? Did I do all that? Lord. I thought your father was dim. No, really. I don't remember doing anything like that. The last thing I remember, I was showing that nice McFly kid. Oh, no, 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 no. Blam, I'm down here and you're yelling at me. McFly? Thanks. <laughs> thanks for. Oh. Yeah, thanks for. Thanks for basically hanging us by a noose there, Biff. Strickland. Oh, hi, Martin. Well, she's no longer a Strickland. She's brown now. Give me the tapes, Edna. No! Don't Mr. Tannen, 
Please restrain our guest. Uh... Biff, stop! Stop! Oh no. <laughs> Why does it. <laughs> Hold on, give me control of the mouse. Hit the watch. Biff, snap out of it! Ah! How about if we remove the watch somehow? Use the arrow keys to look around. Ooh! Einstein? <laughs> Doggy? Huh? Tannin! Focus! Uh... That seemed to snap <laughs> him out of it. Einstein? Speak. Come on, Biff. Snap out of it. Ah! Einstein, there's a bone right next to you. Come on, Biff. Snap out of it. Ah! Come on. All right, let's tr let's try looking oh, the other way. Oh dear, Mr. Wilson, you have been a naughty boy. The hell are you looking at, woman? That sounds wrong. Biff, aren't those your favorite cigars? Cubans. What's going on? Biff, Howard Tannen, obey your programming. Ah, ah. You see, Mr. She think McFly, thanks to the enhancements I've made to the Citizen Plus program. I can bring even the most rabid of dogs to heal. Woman, you are a menace to society. How do you think you're better than any of them? So much vice and disorder. And to think Emmett actually wanted to shut down the excellent pinball parts? Ooh, beer. Hey, hey Biff, look beer. Over there. It's beer. Beer? <laughs> Where am I? Tannin? I didn't go behind my namby-pamby husband's back so you could wallow in your vices. Uh, uh, Ow. I don't understand why we just can't- we can't just mess with the watch. Um, alright. Try barking a bit more. Um, Biff, snap out of it! Ah! I should have known you'd be trouble someday. Your whole family's nothing but a bu- Biff, isn't that the license plate to your car? Sheila? He's let go, finally. Tannin, Attack her. Listen to me. Uh, babes. Uh, Attack her. Booze. You can do it, Biff. You can do it. Snap out of it. Become the, the monster that you are. Mommy? Well, Edna, it seems that your bodyguard has taken Tannin. one for the team. Get up, you useless slacker! Come on, Edna, give the poor jerk a break. A break? You sound like my wishy-washy husband, always trying to find the good in people, never wanting to accept the fact that some people are just born bad. You mean Maybe, like that you? Give you the right to turn them into zombies. Now, give me my dad's tapes so I can. You mean those tapes I erased while you were struggling with my zombie? What? Ah, uh, damn it! Come on. Utopias are fragile things, Mister McFly, especially when overseen by minds as distractible as my husband's. No. No! Edna! Doc? Perfect! I was what wondering, you, how the hell are we going to fix doing this? Here? I came down here to investigate a troubling report involving Mr. Tanner. Doc, you gotta stop her. She... Silence! Okay. I was concerned there might be a flaw in my Citizen Plus program. Imagine my surprise when I found my wife perverting my life's work. Is this what it's all been about, Edna? All those years? All our struggles to cure society's illnesses? Just to create a world where free will can be turned off with a flick of a switch? Oh, please, Emmett. You wanted this just as much as I did. Remember? If only we could tell someone to stay off the grass and so help us, they would never tread foot on a well-manicured lawn again. Now that's, that's what you what wanted. Citizen Plus does. It makes rules unbreakable. I only gave it the slightest of changes. Enough. We will not have this discussion here. But Go home and wait for me. Man, Fine. Andy Doc Brown is scary. I don't want to be on his bad side. I'm going to sneak out. 
There's a, there's a gate behind you. I think you can maybe sneak out that way, Marty. Hide in the corner. Doc. Ah! Father, what have I done? Your father wouldn't blame you. I'm sorry about that. Ooh. I'm sure he wouldn't blame you for all this, Doc. He was so happy when I gave up my childish dreams in favor of Edna's more practical pursuits. Are you proud of me now, Father? I'm sorry about Edna, Doc. She didn't seem so bad back in 1931. No, she wasn't. When we were first dating, she was so spirited, principled, compassionate. When did I lose her? Um, I don't think you really ever had her. I'm pretty sure she saw you as a means to achieve her goals of world domination. Doc, don't be so hard on yourself. This hill valley may be a little messed up. O okay, a lot messed up, but you were just trying to help people. Or was I just entranced by the challenge of transforming the human psyche like so many chemicals? Ah, enough wallowing. What's done is done. It's time to look forward. Maybe, but maybe not. What? Your notebook from the other timeline. Not this foolishness again. Look, you can use it to repair the time machine and fix all this so it never happened. Everyone could be back the way they're supposed to be. You, Edna, Jennifer, my parents. Doc, you once told me if you put your mind to it, you could accomplish anything. Well, accomplish this. Hang on, I see... Are those the time circuits in the background? There's a lot of empty pages. The only one you need is right here. Oh right, a lot of empty pages because he never wrote in them. But the flux capacitor image is still there. Because he always had the idea. Great Scott. Oh, that's such a beautiful concept. I love it. Oh, I feel so happy. I don't know why, I just do. Martin, this, this could work. It'll take time, of course, but once it's done, we'll have all the time in the world. Ha <laughs> Doc? Martin, we must get started at once. Come on! Can we bring Einie along? The dog, yes, of course. You know, I used to love dogs before Edna came along. You don't say. I'll go ahead and start preparing a lab. Edna will be furious, but who cares? We've got a time machine to fix. <laughs> Woohoo! I, f I feel like you should put her under house arrest just in case she somehow finds a way to usurp you. I don't know. I feel like I feel like there's definitely that possibility. Don't worry, boy. I'll get you out of here in no time. What? No, just unlock it. What is it, Einie? Edna's why. Oh, Biff. We freed you. We helped you. Don't beat us up. Hey, Biff. You okay? I'm sorry about making you do the chicken dance. Yeah, I'm okay. Better than I've been in a long time, you know? So you remember... That witch making me do stuff? Yeah, she'll get what's coming to her. No one tells Biff Tannen what I to do. I feel like I'm about to get an atomic wedgie. No one. Hey, I I'm the guy who snapped you out of it. Really? Because all I remember is a punk kid who thought it'd be funny to make me jump down a hole. Huh. Well, at least he's not worried about the whole chicken dance thing. Ah, damn it. It wouldn't be a Back to the Future without somehow... Down, oh, there's a panic button. Uh, stay. Undo the cage. Yes! All right. Sick and angry dog McFly. on him. McFly! Oh, crap. All right, McFly. Time to race the music. Race? Face. It's face the music, you idiot. Uh, I guess he is that much of a dumbass. Is that supposed to scare me or something? Okay. I think we might need to grab something. Get him, Miney. Okay. Drag I hope I don't run out of rock. Miney, sick him. Whoa! There we go. Perfect. And now we can bash him over the head. 
Come on, come on, come on. Place your bets. What the? <laughs> I love how there's also the reference to previous episodes and different timelines. Let's time get out of here, I like that. It makes everything kind of flow in with each other. Although it's a shame that the ice cream... Was it the... Yeah, it was an ice cream kind of sculpture Sorry, on top. I, so I, I wish that was, I wish that was still there. Jump me. I totally laid him out with the old ruler. Martin McFly. Edna? It's almost impressive how many years of work and planning you nearly ruined in just a I few I said we should have put hours. her under house arrest. Here's Doc. Oh, Doc. My husband is in a better place. Better place? What have you done to him? Relax, Martin. We've got everything under control. Oh man, I'm legitimately no, no, scared no. right now. Yep, like I said. Oh man, no! Somehow, somehow, I knew we weren't going to actually fix the DeLorean. Oh no. Here's the real story. I'm a Marty McFly from an alternate timeline. Edna, why? Because you're weak, Emmett. What can I say? She's my muse. I'm not sure I like where this is going. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. You gotta believe me, Jennifer. This whole town's gone crazy, and Citizen Brown and I are the only ones who can fix it. There is no future for us. Okay, um, before we go anywhere, before we go through all of the discussions, I want to say thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching Let's Play Back to the Future, Episode 3, and I hope to see you again next time, when we hopefully manage to rescue Doc and, 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 and restore the timeline to what it should be? I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, I do want to say, I knew she didn't love him, I knew she was using Emmett Brown for her own maniacal intentions whatever she has in mind, and I swear it's gotta be like world domination or something. A mind as crazy as that? Yeah. It's hard to believe this all started from kids get off my damn lawn. <laughs> oh no, but yeah, you can tell she doesn't love him because from what we saw of Emmett Brown, he was probably strapped down to a chair and his, eyes, his eyes fixed open? Maybe being tortured? I don't know, he didn't look happy, that's for sure. Wow. Wow. That's that's pretty insane. I don't even know how we're going to proceed with the next with the next episode. We're going to have to somehow break out of jail. Um maybe we might be strapped down next to Emmett Brown. Maybe she's going to kind of maybe she's going to try and get us to fix the DeLorean so that she can use it. I hope not. I hope that that's a terrible idea. I hope she oh, believes all of this is like the raving of a lunatic about the whole time machine thing. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how we get out of this jam, because we've got to get ourselves out, we've got to rescue Doc Brown, because by the looks of it, we get out of it before Doc Brown does. So we need to find a way of rescuing him, and then covertly fixing the time machine while, while Edna is somehow distracted? I'm intrigued for the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you are too. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you around.